clearance items right here. Here are the key issues. Oh yeah, and the 10% off coupon. What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting comic book haul. I hope everybody's doing well. Let's just go ahead and kick it off and start out with some clearance items from Half Price Books. I cleaned this up real good. I've never seen this before. This is like an ash can trade paperback back when uh, Batman Begins came out. This is one of my favorite Batman movies. And I think this came with the DVD version, I think. Let's just give you a sneak peek. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I can't believe it was my first time seeing it. And, oh, by the way, it was 25 cents. Um, here's G.I. Joe, America's Elite, number one. Um, from uh, Devil's... What is it called? DDP? I think it's Devil's Do Publishing. I'm not sure if they're defunct now. Heroes in Crisis. I know the Infinite Crisis is hot, so who knows? Heroes in Crisis might be hot. Clean that up real good. It's very nice, thick stock cover, too. I love those because it was like, easier to clean out the price stickers. Now, for those of you who are fans of big robots and, you know, just basically robots, Transformers. So, GoBots was before Transformers. And as it happens, this is the first um, team appearance of GoBots in a comic book. Uh, Leader One, Scooter, um, Turbo, and Psycho. I can't re even read my own writing. GoBots, I'm telling you, the toys sucked. I think they were just horrible transforming. They were just so lackluster in design. <laughs> Maybe it'll make a comeback. Who knows, man? Because it was all about retro. Here's GoBots number two. Tom Scully. I guess he's the creator of GoBots. Now, that's a badass looking one right there. I have to admit. Of all the GoBots, that's probably the baddest one. Here's number four. And uh, here's number five. And uh, I know So, we're going to skip to these 50 cents clearance items. Wow. For the 1980s thing, of course, 50 cents. It's already bagged and boarded too. Look at that. So that's number six, and here's number seven. I don't know what's going on right here. It's got a wig on and stuff. Is that a uh, error copy? <laughs> Check it out. Don't shoot. This is really Ben Grimm, the thing. I guess this is a precursor prior to World War Hulk Ray thing was in, I don't know. Here is The Thing Trapped in the Arena of No Return, starring Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman. I'm a little bit excited about the upcoming um, Fantastic Four. I hope Marvel does a great job. I have no doubt they will. Rocky Grimm, looks like he's uh, transformed back to his human form. It's number 13, The Demons of Doom. Yeah, like I said, see? That's his uh, original before uh, self before he... Took up the cosmic rays, I guess. Bombarded with the rays, right? Before you transform into the thing. It looks like he's back. That looks like uh, the Dollar General version of Loki. <laughs> Blinded by the light. I think that's Alicia Masters right there. Man, these covers are pretty weak. <laughs> 21. See? Like, hardly any detail in it. <laughs> Here's number 26 with the big top bra. They're back for the first time, the Fabulous Thunders. Thunder Riders. Perhaps it's the first appearance. Bike bras and the Black Marauder. Marauder. To Battle the Beyonder. Ooh, wait, I gotta read this one. I don't think I ever read this one. I guess the Beyonder transformed itself into some human sentinel form, fighting the thing. You know the thing that there's no match. The wrestling career of Vance Astro is not long for this world. The thing fighting a whole bunch of women. <laughs> okay, um, now we're gonna get to some uh, key issues, guys. Um, so, if it wasn't for Key Collector, I wouldn't have found out in Big Shot 2. Um, this is Streaks of Poison, Captain America 373, featuring the first cameo of Leon Hoskins. Yeah, it's the same 
That's me. I don't know who Leon Hoskins is. He's the brother of Battle Star, later becomes US agent. So that's the importance of it. Also featuring the first team appearance of the Power Two is Buzzsaw, Dro, and Jackhammer. Now I'm excited for the uh, upcoming Godzilla versus Kong, Kong versus Godzilla movie. And this is the uh, second print wear variant with the metallic ink on the title, Godzilla King of Monsters. That is a freaking gorgeous cover right there. It's like you know like the camera looking up you know Godzilla is just destroying the world everything falling down on you that is just gorgeous right there put that in a painting finally the volume I think volume 2 of Batman the new 52 that's my favorite Batman of all time this series with uh, Scott Snyder and Greg Capital in earlier issues those were hot and so this is number 28 featuring the first appearance of Bluebird so be on the lookout for that guys Oh my goodness. Most of you, I think most people, before when this first came out, they wouldn't have paid um, $20, I mean $7.99 for the cover price. So I assume there aren't that many that exist. This features the first camera Jessica Cruz confirmed to appear in the HBO Max Green Lantern show. So she's going to be the new Green Lantern. Because it's all about, it seems like female characters now. Digging from the comics. Come on, just asleep. <gasps> oh my gosh, the first Green Lander. The female Green Lander. Ah, finally having my collection. Just seeing my dirty. Uh, this features the second cameo of Jessica Cruz. Which leads up to this. I finally have in my collection. Thank God. Number Justice League 31. The first full appearance of Jessica Cruz. A beautiful cover. So Justice League New 52. Those are the hot issues. Dirty, 31, and I think 50. Just, just keep that in the back of your mind. Those are the numbers to uh, remember. All right, so this is a uh, different, this is no longer half price books. Uh, oh, by the way, the earlier one that I showed you, the Justice League, those are all half off cover price because it's from half price books. So this is a comic book store. I think I got this, uh, this is a dollar section that I went through. Earth 2, number 3, this is the variant cover. Um, Ivan Reyes and Joe Prado black and white variant 1 in 25. Yes, sir. Can you believe it? Found that in the dollar section, guys. You guys already know what's the importance of this because this is one of the hottest comics right now. Good luck finding it in the dollar bin or back issues. This is features the first appearance of Valzad, not in a costume. Speculation that the upcoming revamp of Superman will be a features of Black Superman. So we don't know if it's going to, uh, if uh, Michael B. Jordan is going to play uh, Valzad or Kelvin Ellis. Justice League, number 21, featuring the first appearance of the T Shazam family, will play a larger role in the Shazam Fury of the Gods upcoming movie. Here's number 26. This is the uh, first team appearance of Justice League's Children from the Future. So it's uh, a future storyline. Introducing League's future children, see? Sometimes you have to read the cover. If you have the time, you know? Not everybody has the time. Ah. Four dollars. Beautiful cover. I like this cover because Captain America is fighting. Actually, U.S. agents fighting uh, Iron Man. So this one is the first appearance of Lamar Hoskins. Hoskins as Battlestar, rumored to be in the upcoming The Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. Also featuring the first appearance of Rock Python, uh, left and right winger, and the first cameo of the Coach Whip and Boone's Blank. Weird names. It's not typical that I paid a half well a good chunk of change for a comic book fifteen dollars Two 
So this is my very first, this was my first copy of uh, Action number nine. I already have it in the top loader seat, protect it real good. So this one, um, I actually have like uh, two of these copies and one of the combo pack one now. Um, depending on when I release the videos, but. Um, so this features the second appearance, the first cover appearance of Kevin Ellis, Superman Earth 23. It's a beautiful cover. Alright, looking for a G.I. Joe. First, Danger Miles. What are these right here? All right, and now um, so a different comic book store. I paid five dollars for this. Not brand Eck. This dates back in the oh, I want to say like late sixties maybe or yeah. That looks like it's judging the price. And then look at the condition. It's pretty sharp. Look at that, right? I pay five dollars for this. So this features the first appearance of Four Bushman. I heard. I think he has his own title right now, or solos. I mean, or like a limited print right now. Four Bushman. Weird, huh? I pay three dollars for this. This is kind of document number three, new stand edition, featuring the first appearance of Danger Mouse. Another copy of these Batman, uh, first appearance of Bluebird. How much did I pay for that? I think $3? Yeah, $3. Well, cheaper than the cover price. Can't, com can't complain about that, right? Um, so, Marvel Fanfare number 11. Uh, that looks like, uh, um, you know, Black Widow, right? But it's the first Iron Maiden, Melina Vostov. The enemy of Black Widow. Rachel Weisz actually plays her in the uh, upcoming Black Widow movie. Um, looking forward to that. Hope they don't delay it any longer. Ah, Storm Shadow. I always wanted this. I didn't want to pay that price, but when I second time went back, I paid it. Three dollars. So this is GI Joe, Real American Hero, classic Storm Shadow uh, cover. Ah. Three dollars for this. Yes, Hor horrible cover, atrocious, but it's got value to it because this is the uh, first appearance of Blowtorch and Ripcord and also Lady J. Is um, Lady J's going to star in the upcoming GI Joe live action show? So put that on your must-have list. Go ahead and hunt for that. And I paid five dollars for this. Not exactly cheap, you know, considering the cover price is two twenty five. Soldier Aragonas grew to wander. This is the very final issue. Very scarce, hard to find. Number one twenty. All right. And uh, to finish off, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this uh, pack of Final Crisis that I paid twenty five dollars for, including issues one through seven. Happy collecting. All right. So this is the pack of. Final Crisis 1 through 7 that I paid $25 for. Let's go ahead and take it out and properly back and board it. Ah, that's the holy grail right there. Look how beautiful it looks. No doubt, this belongs in the top loader. It's gorgeous. Rumor is, Michael B. Jordan is going to play Calvin Ellis, the third black Superman from Final Crisis number 7. And I just recently sold on eBay for half of what it's worth now. It went up to 100 bucks. It's so hard to say goodbye. But I'm keeping this copy. Just from the document, I used to have two copies.